Welcome back to Dalton. Today I'll be showing you how to make these really cool jippy cracked faced candles that light up. Let's do it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need for this project is some sort of cardboard tube. I'm using these shipping cylinders that I recently came into a very large quantity of, but if you're the type of person that uses a lot of toilet paper, feel free to just use those. Since these are so long, I'm going to go ahead and cut them in half. Well, not exactly in half, but two different sizes so that I have lots of different size candles. I'm just going to mark it with a sharpie and then cut using a sharp razor blade like so. Be very careful here. This is very sharp. Don't want to cut yourself. Please be safe. So now that you have yours to the size you want, let's go ahead and start drawing on the faces that we want to carve into the candles. Now feel free to experiment with whatever sort of face you want, but my favorite was this one here with the sort of furrowed eyes and a goofy creepy grin. Once you have your face drawn on, it is time to cut it. Now you can probably use scissors if you're using a thin tube, but since mine is so thick I'm going to have to use this hot blade. If you are using a hot knife like this, please be very careful, again you do not want to cut yourself. Sort of just push it into the cardboard and slowly move it through. Let the heat and the sharpness of the blade do all the work. You do not want to do any sort of quick, forceful sawing motions as this can cause it to jump out of the cardboard and cut you, which will not be good. Alright, so now we have all of our faces cut out and it should look a little bit like this. And it is time to move on to the next step, which is to cut out some circles. I'm using styrofoam, but you could use some more cardboard if you like. Just trace the circle onto it, cut it out, and put that inside one end of your candle. This is just to hold the tea light candle that we are going to put in later. Now it is time to add all of those beautiful, creepy drips to the candles. For this, I'm going to start by applying very thick layers of wood glue. Now the first layer you're putting on is mostly to serve to fill up all the pores in the cardboard as well as those spirals you most likely have going up your tube. It's okay if it doesn't look that thick afterwards, you might not have any drips at all, but that is okay because as you can see, as you move on layer by layer, you can slowly start putting it on thicker and thicker. I think by the time I got to my third layer, I started really gooping it on, making lots of drips. You can start putting the drips mostly in places you want them. I like to them mostly at the top as well as around the mouth and eyes. As you get even further along, you can even take the half-dried glue sitting at the bottom of your candle and sort of goop that on. Using wood glue over hot glue, like a lot of people do, is much better because, well, hot glue melts and this stuff won't, which means you can store it and use it year and year again, which is amazing. Now to add those cracks all over the candle that I really love, I'm going to be using some monster mud. If you don't know what monster mud is, go and check out my how to make a tombstone video. It teaches you how to make it and how to use it to make some tombstones as well. But you can goop this on as well to create some more drips and when it's done, it looks like this. Now for painting, I just painted the whole thing black with some spray paint and then went over it, dry brushing on some off-white paint like so, just on all of the high points. You can do whatever color candles you like, but I personally really like the idea of keeping the candle very dark and monotoned and then bringing in some color with the lights on the candle instead. Now, speaking of lights, all I did for the top was use a plain old battery operated tea light candle, but for the lights inside of it, I actually used some battery operated color changing LEDs that I found online. If you can't find these, that's no problem. You can probably find some at your local craft store or just use another tea light candle. And then your candles are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. And if you've not already, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, it will let you know every single time we post a new video. And why wouldn't you want to know that? I know you don't want to miss any of them. And while you're at it, you can head over to daltoddity.com where we sell lots of cool things that you can have at your own home. Lots of neat Halloween decorations and other interesting things. And make sure you continue to watch the rest of our cool Halloween DIYs. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and we will see you soon with another video.
That'll be great.